What's up everyone, my name is Alex. I'm one of the co-founders of myinvestingclub.com and I wanna let you guys know about something special we're doing for our viewers on YouTube. So the most common question we get asked is, you know, how do I start day trading? So what me and my mentor Bao did is we created a free two hour mentorship course for the brand new trader. It's gonna be available at myinvestingclub.co. The link is gonna be right here. This is a free webinar that reveals our 12 secrets that every single brand new day trader should know before they start. I also wanna let you guys know about something that's very unique to MIC. So if you have any questions about trading or you're curious about trading or you don't know if MIC is the right fit for you, now you can text our head mentor, Tosh, whose number is gonna be right here, and he'll answer all the questions that you have in less than 24 hours. Thank you and enjoy the video. Good morning, guys. It's Tom Diesel here. I hope you guys had a great uh, trading week this week. Today, I'm gonna talk about uh, one of the, the topic I did before, which is uh, how to become a CPT, consistently profitable trader. If losing small makes you uncomfortable, you should quit trading now. I mean, you know, this is the key. I mean, you sh must be comfortable with taking small losses, right? Else you will end up taking the mother of all losses. And that's usually what happens here. This is where you're gonna give back all the monies that you made. I mean, maybe weeks or months, I don't know. But usually it never ends well when you know you hit a loss and, and you try to, to fight it back. Yeah, sometimes it's work, yes. Yeah, sometimes you could make break even or maybe green on the day. That's good. Yeah. But it usually never ends well. So and I've you know, I've counted countless time and how many times. So that's what brings me to this. As you can see, I always have really small loss because I tend to stop trading, you know, after I hit a loss. My process is that when you trading, right, you want to have the best hands. It's like same same thing with playing a poker. You want to be dealt with the, you know, the best hands before you can place money. I, I mean, if you have a pair of aces every time, right, and you're just going to wait for that and you're going to bet money on it, you know, likely you're going to win, right? It's it's not all the time, but, you know, on the majority, a lot of times you, you're going to win. But if you couldn't wait for that premium hands uh, to show up and instead of, you know, guessing around, playing catch up all day, you're probably going to lose. So my premium hands are the first hour right that's something i need to emphasize on or i i need to know that the first uh the first hour are my premium hands usually like the likelihood that i'm going to make money in the first hour after that it's you know it's just nonsense for me and, you know it, it's really hard when you down uh in the first hour my analogy on on trading is that I'm waking up every day, you know, I'm, I'm just sticking to my same process and, you know, waking up like four or 5 a.m. in the morning, prepare myself for, for the market open and I, and then I attack, right? All this time I was preparing myself just for the first, you know, hour. I had here like, you know, three or four hours, just do the preparations to kind of warm up, you know, all that's that's part of my process and I'm waking up every day expecting I'm going to make money and I know there is a window for me it's like uh, you know you going to to the market and there's money lying there for you to pick it up right I explained that in, in the awesome webinar but there is a certain time or certain window when it opens you need to put your hands you know out there and just take money and leave right that concept or that analogy is the same thing to me the first hour is where that window is open when that window is open i need to get the money i'm all like i need to to kind of work on my timing i mean so the first hour are the key to where i can take the money from the market after that i don't have any edge you know after that i just know the window is closed now whatever I, I I'm, I'm i'm trying to do it's 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 gonna bounce back it could end well or, or like uh, you know less but that's for me right but for someone else uh you know for long traders they could uh, their window could be uh, i don't know like after zombie like from 10 30 to uh, like 11 30 but i think the most money being made it doesn't matter if you're long or short traders is in the first three hours i think and after lunch is just you know grinding and if you really want to you know wait for the afternoon and and it's 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 really up to you not one stop will make your career 
but one can end it if you are stupid. I mean, it's it's so deep, uh, you know, this quote, because it's just so true. I mean, you know, it, it doesn't matter what you trade, uh, but if you stupid in one, it could really end you. I mean, you could be making a lot of money, you know, in the past, I don't know, one year or like a month or two. But if you if you stubborn here, right? This is the first red day. If you stubborn here, if you size up here at 12, right? And you think it's gonna go red, but didn't, you know, bounce back. You add more, added more. All right, let me add some line here, line here, line here. And then it ends up squeezing all the way to 15. But at this point, you know, you couldn't accept, uh, accept the loss, right? All right, so I went in more and more. And at this point, you probably gave up. All right, just fuck this. I'm gonna blow this account. You know, it doesn't matter want to fill up with uh, another one soon uh, it's like at this point you just gave up that's when you know the one trade the but one can end it if you are really stupid if you just can be adding on a, onto losers if you go back to the after hours and reading some of the bow comments he talk about uh, you know the lines and, and everything that's been a strategy that we use and how we can use um, you know how he can have like 30k account but still can make consistently money uh like one or two k uh, each day and that's a life-changing money guys uh you know consistency really adds up and you don't have to go in with big bucks right you know 200 days 50k a year 400 100k a year 1k 250k 4k that's 1 million but the point here i'm trying to make and i'm going to repeat it again as long as you can keep the losses small you know like small losses you're going to make it you know our goal is to to make it into the next day you know our goal is to live to fight another day and that's our goal so keep that in mind and the only way you can keep the losses small is by not revenge trading by not coming back into the well right but will you be able to do that i don't know it's really up to you you have all the tools here that you need i'm just explaining to you what you know the best that i could you know before i i know all of that right but i didn't know the first window and i know so after losing uh, trade i just went back to the well and tried to make it work try to you know get some of the profits back right away you know i just want to be green and that's it uh, and that's the the stupidest part of me and when i hit kind of rock bottom and I realize this is not how you trade, right? Your goal is to keep the losses small. And how can you be able to do that, you know, if you continue trading? You know, it's just simple as that. And even Alex said, you know, the biggest secret to it all is walk away. By walking away, you not ending up, you know, revenge trading, you not ending up locating some more, you like you trading everything that runs or that it's making a new high. I mean, at the end of the day, the commissions, the locate, everything is just adds up you know instead of taking whatever you know hundred dollars loss or five hundred dollar loss or one thousand dollar it turned out to be i mean 5k or even 10k by the end of the day right how many times it happened to us like this you know just be honest with yourself ask yourself this if that's really what's happening to you if that's really what's happening to you now i mean i've heard i've been getting a lot of uh, you know dms from the members like the losing trades are usually bigger than their winning ones because they couldn't do this they couldn't figure out what time frame they couldn't figure out the window they didn't accept the fact you know this window is where the premium this this window is where the pair of aces where will will appear right it's like playing poker this is the time where the pair of aces will like the dealer will 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 deal it to you after that n no way man it's like no point the pair of aces is here so you have to ask yourself be honest with yourself about this i think uh, once you figure out that that out part uh once you figure it out and uh, you know that part out it will gonna make you know so much easier and when you can focus just on your edge and you know what is working what is not and trying to focus on the risk management all right guys so i hope it helps today and uh i will try to maybe make a part four if i see some things uh good uh, you know coming up but uh that's it for today and i hope you guys uh, enjoy the weekend and uh, I'll, I'll see you on the next one take care 
Thank you so much for watching our video. If you want to see more of our videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel by clicking the button here. We do our best to post a new video every single day. If you have any questions about MIC or any general trading questions, please text Tosh using the number here. Also, stay up to date by watching some of our most recent videos right over here.